I was watching one of Abom 79s videos uh, on YouTube last week or maybe the week before when he went to an auction nearby to him and managed to pick up bargains trailers and trailers of bargains end mills cutters plates gauges he picked up all sorts and he got me thinking i wonder what's available auction wise in the uk because i've never really done an auction so i um i had a quick look online found an auction that was right local to me about 20 minutes down the road held by cotter and co and i went and had a look so after seeing his video on auctions i thought i'll give one a go see what we can get the only difference being with the one in the uk was it's held online so you can go see the stuff but all bidding was online which is not quite so good because you've always got everybody's available to see it whereas the one adam done over in america he um if you're there you bid if you're not it goes cheap so he managed to pick up stuff cheap because people just weren't bidding on it where this stuff unfortunately the auction is online and it sits on there for around a month so there's plenty of chance for people to see it and it gets pinged out to all the traders as well so some stuff goes through the roof to be fair and prices aren't so good but some stuff's a bargain and we uh we got a couple of bits so i'm going to show you what they are now an engineer firm that shut down in essex called lamar engineering used to do a lot of aerospace stuff i tried to bid on a cnc mill but it went above my budget so all i ended up picking up was these three lots here and a box on the floor there and a 36 by 36 inch steel surface plate with a table which was good condition now the surface plate was 100 quid i haven't got that um on footage because it's somewhere else at the minute but i thought i'd show you these cabinets now these may not look like much these three and this box on the floor here cost me 500 quid now some people might say that's mad but these have end mills loads and loads of end mills some taps some drills some odds and sods but i don't even know what they are but mainly end mills now every drawer has got a load in so you think 500 quid for some end mills is quite expensive but let me just show you these ones these ones here you're never going to see the part number on the camera i doubt probably not but that says aes 3120xl then you look at the phone aes 3120xl 84 pounds 74 each plus fat so there's three of them this AES, I think this one was 52 quid, and there's some bigger ones there which are about the same price. This is a different make one, but I found a price on this for 35 pound. And then you've got some like this. Now this is brand new, never been used, just grubby from where it sat there. Then there's lots of these import roughing end mills and you can see a lot of the other ones here so what is 500 quid too much to some when you actually add this up these for example six mil they're only about eight quid each but there's 30 of them in there them in there when you start adding these up it is a lot of money lots and lots of air meals I think there's some drill bits yet some drill bits in some of these so that's these ones some drawers are a bit empty some drawers are totally empty some drawers have got new stuff in them some old but there is enough air meals there to last me a very long time so more than my money's worth there when you add up to take into account that these are like brand new a lot of these have never been used 
all these ones in here never been used all these ones in here maybe one or two have been used some of these are used or possibly not that big one looks to never be used that one I'm not too sure about and you've got funky ones like this it's a Canadian company Mini Cut International but these are good end mills they're all good end mills so I've got money's worth there now this box here was included as well and I haven't even started to go through this yet these are all just chucked in all into the same box but that one there for example 20 mil four flute now you're going to be paying a few quid for that ones like this that's been ground been used this box also has lots of taps bigger end mills very big end mills so yeah just thought I'd show you what we picked up and it's a bargain in my eyes total bargain I'll have to have a good sort out but I won't be buying any end mills for a while that's for sure see you soon